Hi guys, I've got a new plant for my tabletop. See that? And it's my favorite. I'm really excited. Isn't this beautiful? This is Jamie. This is Jamie Colors Jamie. Jamie Colors Jamie. This is Jamie Colors Jamie. This is known as Jamie Colors Jamie Folia or Jamia or simply a ZZ plant. And I love this plant. And this is also known as a air purifying plant. So I just keep it on my desk, just under my nose to breathe fresh air, you know. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are not here because of that GZ plant, right? We are here for something else. An action cam. There are so many different kinds of action cams available in the market. So most of us have one something like this, right? Some of them are waterproof right outside the box and some of our we need to use a case to make it waterproof. So when we have a waterproof camera, we all want to use underwater right in a swimming pool or in scuba diving or snorkeling anywhere you have already taken videos underwater with these cameras you see that the colors doesn't look like that we see in the national geographic or the discovery channel and it doesn't look like a crystal clear neutral color clear water so it looks all blue and cyan and it's all faded and it's all low in contrast well there are some certain filters available in the market for these cameras which make it look proper but it's expensive and if you want to do a just an inexpensive way of color grading and make it look okay in the post production then stay tuned so let's get back to the desk and breathe some fresh air and do the tutorial in premiere pro so we are in adobe premiere pro 2018 and I have gathered four different shots so it's have shot underwater in Bali so if you look at the first two shots it looks very green and if you look at the third and the fourth shot it looks very blue so these are the two very common lighting conditions that you'll find underwater so the color of the water will depend on the depth of the water the time of the day the position of the Sun and also the white balance of the different cameras so all these shots were shot using Xiaomi E 2k action cam in 2015 and it was not the best of the cameras at that time so in order to start the grading process we'll first go to the color workspace and we need to turn on the Lumity scopes and in Lumity scopes we'll have to go and turn on parade RGB and waveform YC so the parade RGB briefly describes the range of colors in the shot from 0 to 100 and you can see the reds are very low in the shot followed by the blue and then the green this is waveform YC and this describes the luminance level of the shot you can see the hundreds which describes the brights the highlights and we have zero which describes the darks. so we can clearly see that the black levels are lifted in the shots and the highlights are way over 100 so we can use these two tools to color grade any kind of footages. So we'll start with the green footages. So we'll start by putting an adjustment layer over the clips. So in the Lumity color tab, if the shot is green, we need to adjust the tint. And if the shot is blue, we need to adjust the temperature. So we'll just increase the tint towards magenta and just enough so that it becomes neutral we don't want to overdo it otherwise it will start looking magenta or if we don't do it enough it will still look green so we just want to have enough magenta so that the shot looks neutral we need to increase the contrast so for that we'll go to the curves and in the RGB curve we'll start with two points and then create an S curve which is also known as the contrast curve so we'll just lift the highlights slightly and we'll darken the shadows so that it creates more contrast and increases the dynamic range from 0 to 100 so after adjusting the contrast you can see that it has introduced some greens in it so in order to control that we can do it in the tint so if you scrub through the shot you'll see the shot is neutralized and it looks decent so if you further want to remove more greens from the shot we'll do that in the curves and we'll go to the green section and we'll just 
reduce the green from the whole shot just by clicking and dragging it down. So we have a decent color grading for both the shots but we are still missing the saturation and the vibrance. So we'll go back to the basic correction and we'll increase the saturation. I like to have a little bit of blue in my underwater shots. So depending on your taste, I'll just try to increase the temperature to more cooler water. And to remove the fog on the lens which was created during the underwater shoot, we can just go to vignette and darken the edges by creating a vignetting effect just about that so we can see the difference by toggling the layer on and off so this looks more neutral and clearer water and it looks very decent so the color grading on the first two shots are done but for the third and the fourth shot so we'll take a different adjustment layer for the third and the fourth shot we'll select the adjustment layer and go to the luminosity color in the basic section since this is more blue to in order to neutralize this footage we'll start with the temperature we'll make it more yellow so that it neutralizes the blue and then it starts to look little green so in order to neutralize that we'll start adding some magenta into the shot so if you go to the luminosity scopes and then see the shot it'll start looking neutral but you can see it still has a lot of blue in it all right now the shot is missing contrast you can see the dynamic range of the shot is cluttered between 80 to 10 so in order to increase the dynamic range we'll boost up the highlights and darken the blacks we'll do that in the curve We'll lift up the highlights and then darken the shadows so the shot is starting to look proper but we still have to do some grading and we'll start with the RGB curves since this is lacking some red we can see it in the parrot RGB the reds are way less so we'll start by adding some reds into the shot we don't want to overdo it just a slight amount of reds in the midtones and we'll reduce the greens slightly then we'll go to the hsl settings and what the hsl secondary does is so we can select the specific color range and we can do some grading on that specific color range so for example for this we'll select the aqua and you can see the range like this is selecting only the aqua and then we'll change the tint so that it becomes more blue and then we'll also increase the saturation and then we'll go to the basic correction and increase the saturation so that we have rich and vibrant colors from the corals and from the fishes in the shot so if you turn on and off the layers you can see so it has created a big difference from what it was before and after the color grading the last footage looks very different from the, from this one so this looks more magenta and more reds so in order to color grade this differently we'll just cut the adjustment layer and start from where we left it so we can decrease the magenta in the shot slightly and increase the highlights and the shadows we can go back to the curve and do some changes in the curves and that's all so i'll scrub through the shot and you can see the difference what it was before and after the color grading so hope you have learned something new and thank you so guys thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and keep supporting me to make more of this video and till then see ya